do you have some thoughts for us about uh, developing our craft, in addition to taking care of ourselves and, and this attention to our personal instrument? How does one enhance one's craft? How to develop a craft to the level of mastery? Role models and peer review. Uh -huh. so to give you the succinct answer, okay. I mean, I'm, so no, my passion now, uh, one of my great passions, one of the crafts I was interested in mastering was Aikido. Mm -hmm. I trained in Aikido very intensively for over uh, 20 years. I studied with many of the great masters. I got their uh, videotapes and watched them over and over again. But most importantly, I went and met them and had them throw me around. And, uh -huh. and, and that, more than anything, uh, and then I would review what I learned with my with my peers. Mm. Uh, I am now on a, quest, a path of mastery in in qigong and tai chi. Mm -hmm. uh, I have identified uh, three masters who I have a personal relationship with, and I spend as much time with them as I possibly can. And then I practice every day, of course. And then I review my practice with with peers when I can find them. Uh huh. Uh, so, so you know, who are the therapists that you most admire? Mm. Don't just read their books. Yep. Go and meet them. Yep. Have a, th a series of therapy sessions with them. Mm -hmm. Find out when they're teaching a workshop and make sure that you're on it. Mm. And, I mean, that's you know that that's it's you know if you want to learn creativity, you go to Leonardo da Vinci. You want to learn innovation, you go to Thomas Thomas Edison. Uh, you know, you want to learn therapy. Who who is your role model yep. for or or role? I, you try to find more than one. 